On this week's episode, we talk about Parasite. Uncut Gems. The new Clone Wars, the final season Clone Wars trailer. And other pop culture tidbits from the week. All right, we had a busy week in terms of movies here at Team Retina. Um, what do you want to talk about first? Let's talk about Uncut Gems. Okay, Uncut Gems, this is the Adam Sandler film that is unlike the usual Adam Sandler film. Yeah, one of the awards season, award, awards season mm -hmm. snub. Yeah. Uh, Adam Sandler should definitely be nominated for uh, acting. Uh, and he was not everywhere. Mm -hmm. And writing, the movie has very interesting yeah. plot, very complex and very good mm -hmm. writing. The soundtrack, I didn't like the soundtrack. Yeah, the soundtrack was an odd. Think like Stranger Things, but even older and lower quality. Or like a PBS special from the 80s. Like the soundtrack to a PBS special about like cells from the 80s it was weird cells wow yeah. i i wouldn't say it was it was bad it was just inappropriate i mean it was like it, it it would work with something else maybe with cells i don't think it worked with uh with that movie yeah. specifically okay um the cast was it's a big cast yeah it was a good cast mm -hmm. how what what Tilda Sinton like? does a voice, surprisingly, mm -hmm. on the phone talking to him. Uh, yeah. We have... Uh, Idina Menzel. Yeah, Adad Madzen. Yeah. <laughs> who doesn't sing, unfortunately. But she, Perhaps most notable is who wasn't in it. What do you mean? It's not an Adam Sandler movie. It's just weird to see him without... Or no Rob Schneider, no David Spade, no Chris Rock. Yeah, it's not a comedy. I guess. He did that before. He he did a terrific job on Rain Over Me. That movie I loved. And yeah. and Sucker Punch Love. Uh, both great uh, mm -hmm. acting gigs. He, he he performed really well. And this one was the case. And I don't know, maybe because he was saying that he would be nominated, nominated for an Oscar for that movie. Maybe that's why he didn't. I, the Academy lost that, you know. I mean, meaning they don't love that. Uh, they hate it. They hate to this day people like uh, Eddie Murphy and uh, Jim mm -hmm. Carrey and Jerry Lewis because they're like, you know, larger than life and they see what they think and when they're good, they're good. The Academy mm -hmm. will always love to humble people down, you know, like. A lot of people that deserved awards throughout the years mm -hmm. and they never got it or they got one. Like Scorsese only got one not long ago for after a very accomplished career. Really? Yeah. He's only gotten one? For The Departed. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Like, I thought uh, he'd have like a shelf. Yeah, no. Uh, the Academy likes to put down people like... And when they when they finally decide to, to, to give awards to people, sometimes it's too late, you know. It's like Robin Williams, they gave him the award for mm. Good Will Hunting, which he didn't deserve. When he should win for... Um, I can't remember the name of the movie in, in, in English. What's so it about? It's, it's about a doctor. And, oh, uh, pa Patch Adam? No, 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 no. That's way before that. About a doctor and a patient. It's, I think it's him and De Niro, I think. Oh, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Portuguese is like, in Portuguese, it's, it's something like time to wake up. Anyways. Anyways. But, but, but yeah, so, yeah, he wasn't nominated, but he kills it. He, he acts. He does. Yeah. Yes. He, and he's not even, he, he, he doesn't try to be funny if he if he's funny sometimes no. it's because he's pathetic he's you know the circumstances put him <clears throat> on the thing it's like this guy's an idiot and yeah yeah that pretty much covers it yeah not my favorite but i'm not like a huge adam sandler oh, yeah, fan but it was it was an interesting adam movie. Sandler movie it's well, very different than everything you made so 
It is. It is very different, but there it's were like, a couple tropes. But it's probably um, just coincidence. Uh, yeah, I think it was just coincidence. Yeah. Okay, Parasite though, on the other hand, has gotten a ton of love and attention from the Academy yes. and all the other uh, awards. The movie won uh, the Can Can is I say? Yeah, Can 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 Festival. Uh, the mm-hmm. Palm Door, the the Palm. Oh, I got the, the Palm Door. Yeah, the, the Golden Palm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Can for best movie, and is winning a lot of. Awards out there, so a lot mm-hmm. of praise from critics, and we saw it. I like it. I get it. What some people love it. I thought it would be better, and it's. I don't know. Let's just say. I I enjoyed it. Although frankly, I, I did think it was a little bit overrated. It's not. It's up for what ten Oscars. Is it? Is it 10? No, is it one of the it's ones? not that many. Maybe it's not that many. Either way, it's up for way more than you usually see from a foreign film. Yes. Right? It's up for director, it's, it's up. It's up there for movie in mm-hmm. director, which is not unusual for yeah. foreign language films. Mm-hmm. films. Anyways, it, I enjoyed it. The first half seems pretty predictable, and then all of a sudden there's this twist that comes out of nowhere that really changed... For me, it kind of changed the the feel of the movie. Um, it starts out almost funny. Yeah, it's and comedic, tragic. It's and tragic then it gets comic. really dark. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then it's just and tragic. Dark. Um, and I thought there was interesting, like sort of unspoken commentary on social, um, on like class, like class divisions and like the the separation between like the wealthy and the poor. Nobody ever actually comes out and says, like, oh, it's so hard to be poor. Like, they just show it yeah. in the film, which is, like, it was nice to see. I was impressed with how they use the language of film to communicate mm-hmm. that message. Yeah. Even though even though it's not ex- explicit, it's it's pretty out there if you're mm-hmm. paying attention. Yeah, I know it's not subtle. It's not subtle. At all. And, and, I, and I assume that's why... The, the movie is technically well done. Yeah. It's well written. It's well shot, directed, mm-hmm. the whole thing. But I, 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 I assume the whole, oh, wow, this movie is because the social uh, uh, commentary, you know, the class yeah. warfare, uh, you know, the Academy likes maybe. that. They give, like, to La La Land. I mean, they didn't give to La La Land, they give to Moonlight something. I don't remember. Yeah, because of the social aspect. Mm. But yeah, the actors act. It's it's interesting. It's fun. <laughs> Not the movie to beat the Joker or. Uh, um, like 1917. Yeah, like it's a good Once movie. Once upon but a time in at, Hollywood. Yeah. When you yeah. look at what else is nominated, what else came out this year, it's. It was a good year for movies, yeah. and it's gonna be a tough year at the Oscars. Maybe in a different year, it would have. Done Again, you steal my win, you know, the Academy is like, oh, we never oh, gave sure. best movie for a South Korean movie, let's mm-hmm. be diverse and yeah. super right and diverse and woke and all that. And it would be disappointing. Yeah, but it was a good movie. I do recommend it. And I really love what the director, whose name escapes me at present because our children don't sleep right now and so I don't sleep. Boon. Um, it's Boon Young. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. But anyway, in his acceptance speech at the Golden Globes, he talked about how he said something to the effect of not letting the one inch barrier of subtitles stop you from watching films outside of America. Like, there's a whole other world of, of great cinema out there and, and good movies, and, and it's well worth adjusting to reading subtitle, subtitles. Yes. So, do it. Where did you find the film? It's uh, it's available everywhere oh. uh, digitally. You can okay. buy the movie mm-hmm. uh, uh, on disc yet, but you can mm-hmm. you can rent or buy digitally. Uh, I got specifically on Vudu, but I assume you can get Apple, Amazon everywhere. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. And now for something completely different. Clone Wars. Clone Wars, the mm-hmm. final season again. Again will come mm. out in February on Disney Plus and we just saw the trailer for mm-hmm. it and it looks good. 
Yeah. It's Clone Wars is, was a fantastic show to begin with. It only so. improved throughout the years. Yeah. It started for me. It started out okay, and but mm-hmm. then it got better and better and better, and then it ended like really, really mm-hmm. good. It's spending the mythos of the Force yeah. and dealing with. What do we do with Ahsoka? Nobody knows Ahsoka. She's not a Jedi. Mm-hmm. Now in the future, how she's... So they deal with that at the, at the end of the show. Mm-hmm. Which I thought it was a pretty good ending, but they're going back now. Me too. And when they when they announced the new season, final season of mm-hmm. Clone Wars, I thought they would go back uh, before the events of the previous season, you know, like some, some mm. war stories. And apparently, no, apparently it's right after that. And yeah. it's still right between episode 3 and even parallel to episode 3. Because mm-hmm. we see stuff like Darth Maul and Ahsoka fighting at the Jedi Temple. Mm-hmm. We see pregnant Padme. Yes. Talking with Anakin. We see Anakin beating the crap out of the Separatists and Mustafar. Mm-hmm. We see a very angry looking Obi Wan. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mostly, I'm excited about Ahsoka though. She went from unbelievably annoying in the fir- when we first met her to probably my favorite character. Definitely my favorite character in that show. Mm, I take it back because Obi Wan is there. Anyway, she's one of my f- absolute favorites, and so I'm excited to see some more of her story and what happened with her after she left the Jedi Order. There's some cool stuff to explore there with like how the force works beyond the Jedi and the Sith. Yeah, I don't Maybe. think they'll they they touch that uh, okay. a lot because it's, it's a short season and yeah, yeah, they might. We see Mandalorians, we see what mm-hmm. looks like a, a soccer squad, you know, calling troopers of red, mm-hmm. uh, painted on the helmets. Mm-hmm. And yeah, again I see Padme, Anakin, Obi Wan, mm-hmm. and about Obi Wan, sad news uh, was announced today that the show was suspended indefinitely. The crew was sent home, and yeah, that's uh, that. As far as we know, that sounds a lot like cancellation, but. There's it's a huge they, bummer. They said that they're looking for new scripts, new writers, and the show is going from six episodes to four. So I don't what? know. Yeah. That's weird. I know. Might as well cancel the show, make a movie. It sounds like they're starting four over. Four, four 30 minutes episodes, that's a two hour movie. Yeah. But like Unless it's a four, one hour episode, which I doubt. I've never made a TV show, so I'm probably well. I know that I'm talking about something that I I don't totally understand, but I feel like having a good script is pretty important. Like at the beginning, like wouldn't you do that before you have crews? Yeah, and sets we don't know things? details if it was about. Sometimes it's not about quality. Sometimes it's about who decides it. You know. The I'm suits, sure. the suits read and say, mm. "Oh, Superman is not fighting a spider on this <laughs> one." Uh, this is an inside there's joke. There's a yeah. You should see if you didn't see the documentary, "The Death of Superman Lives." Watch it, and it's a treat. You get it. What we're we talking about, but learn about the Tim Burton Nicolas Cage Superman movie that, that never, never was. Happens. Yeah, but um. I'm saying it's about who decides it. You know, mm. sometimes it's not about college. Sometimes it's awesome, and they said, "Yeah, you know." Yeah. Like Captain Kennedy said stupid things like, "Star Wars uh, could be better if you had more source <laughs> materials, books, and Ugh. comic books." It's like seriously. Oh my goodness. You know, so that kind of thing. It's you know, in a mega. In the end, there's a mega corporation behind that brand, behind that story. And sometimes they they want to sell. Hmm. Toys and you know, fluffy, uh, plush, uh, porks. Uh, porks, bears. You know, so, sometimes they, they they need that, and that takes too much importance <sighs> in the process. And a man in the desert itself might you know say, "Oh, we need more." Yeah. You know, so yeah, it could be that. You don't like a little cuddly Obi Wan doll. Huh? 
No, I'm not talking about. Uh, uh, I don't know. It, it could be many things. Why and yeah. Well, either way, it's a bummer. I was really looking forward to that. Me too. Uh, it's gonna. It's gonna. Yeah. Suddenly, it's not gonna be anytime soon because they sent the crew home. It's like okay, if they send everybody home, mm-hmm. it's like go back to step zero. One. Yeah. Yeah. In other sad news, Terry Jones passed away this week, which was a bummer. Yeah. I was sad to hear. A British comedian behind the uh, troupe. Do you say that book in English? Yeah, he was part of the uh, Bonnie Python troupe. comedy troupe. So, and he actually directed the whole, yeah he directed Holy Grail, Life of Brian, and um, Meaning of Life. So he was or co-directed some of those with. Um, Terry Gilliam, who is also part of part of the troupe. Um, also, little known fact, he was quite the medieval historian. He actually wrote some medieval histories. You know, um, some he wrote the the shows too, right? The shows in the movies. Oh yeah, they were all big part of yeah, yeah writing all and great comedians are writing all that. Good writers. Mm-hmm. A lot of his contributions were well, quite often women. He really enjoyed playing the female roles. Mm-hmm. On the shows and in the movies. Sometimes surprisingly, too, too, too well. <laughs> um, let's see, what else? Um, well, he was well short of it, that's worth. I don't know, just a really all around, like, nice, funny, good person. And it's, it's sad to see someone like that. Is he the go. first to go? No, Graham Chapman died a long time ago. Okay. Um, but even sadder, I think he had substance abuse problems. Terry Jones, it was related to dementia, which is terrible, but yeah, so just in in closing tonight, take a minute, eat some spam, dig up some lovely muck, or uh, watch Monty Python and the Holy Grail in honor of Terry Jones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fun fact about uh, Monty Python, apparently Pink Floyd, there were a bunch of nerds People think, they're, oh, they're all high on drugs and stuff. They're all, like, big music nerds and nerds, period. Hmm. And when they were not making music, the, the things they were enjoying the most was soccer. As I mean, football. Mm-hmm. As good Brit man, lads. And Monty Python. So, just fun, curious fact. Yes. Yeah. It is thanks to him that we know that a witch weighs the same as a duck. <laughs> you can... It's, yeah. It's, it's genius. What a great contribution! It's geniusly funny to, to human phrase society. itself. It, 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 yeah, it yes. gets a laugh. So uh, crazy. Anyways, okay. that's it for this week. Uh, okay. We're coming back next week mm-hmm. with uh, hopefully with a review of The Gentleman, the new. Guy Ritchie. Yeah. Guy Ritchie? Is, is Guy Ritchie? Yeah, Guy Ritchie. Guy Ritchie. Ritchie. Yeah. Guy Ritchie movie. And yeah. Mm-hmm. Another Brit that knows what he's doing. So, yeah. Uh, see you next week. May the force be with you. Live long and prosper. What What are you doing? That I'm just like a, I'm, I'm a Vulcan gang sign. You Star Wars line? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> it's like diverse, you know. Yeah, soon we're gonna have uh, Asians no, and, no, and, no, and, no. and, and, and um, black people <sighs> and women and Love stuff. Love you!